What's going on guys? Cam Charles down here in beautiful sunny Island, Morado, Florida with Takizi TV. We're back with another episode. If you guys didn't watch the episode previously, we kind of went over the new boat and showed you how the rigger kind of set it up and got her, you know, up to my standards of how I wanted it for commercial grade fishing. Now, we brought the drone out. So we're gonna show you how the boat runs. We're down here today. I got today off. I took it off to catch bait. I got two trips coming up in the next couple of days. I gotta be ready, got some tarpon bait. We were already went and caught some mullet this morning. If you don't know anything about mullet fishing and catch them in a cast net, they are definitely by far my least favorite fish to catch. I luckily I had about 10 dead ones in the ice from my trip yesterday and we went and caught about another six others. Got a few more on the trip tomorrow, but right now we're gonna head out offshore in the new boat and try to sabiki some pilchards to put into a pen from my trip the next couple of days. The pilchards have all been out spawning on the reef with the full moon. Last few days they really haven't been out there, so I don't know if we're gonna catch any pilchards. We might have to wind up going back to mullet fishing here, but at least we're gonna show you how the boat rides. We're gonna take her offshore here, go check out some bait patches and let her eat, baby, come on. So we're down south right now. We made it out to the first bait patch. Dallas drove us out here. We're just kind of scanning, looking around on the bottom finder, seeing if we can't find any balls of bait hiding down there in the grass. That's one thing that I love about having two screens and why I put two screens on this boat. Because my top screen, I can always leave it on my navigation, where my waypoints are at. And then my bottom screen, I always leave it on the depth finder. That way, when you are catching bait, you can be looking at your top screen to see where your marks are at and where you've been catching them. Meanwhile, you're able to look at the other screen, which is reading the bottom. A lot of people are gonna argue, oh, you can split your screen. When you do this every single day, there's no doubt you can split your screen. I contemplated getting a 16 inch Simrad and split my screen. It's much more functional just to have the two different GPSs. They don't gotta be 12 inches a pop, they can be seven inches a pop. Or you can have one good navigation and a tiny little depth finder. It makes it much more easier and much more convenient to find bait having the two GPSs. That way every time you get off, you just go back to your mark. You're not having to zoom out and all this other stuff doing the split screen thing. So we're out here, we're reading the depth finder, see if we can't find any bait. All right, so we went offshore, went and checked a bunch of patches, really combed over them all real good, did not find any pilchards. So we're back inside, gonna throw the net on some mullet, just get what I can get for my trips tomorrow. So we're gonna wind up throwing a net here a bunch of times. Hopefully we can at least whack them once really good here. So fingers crossed, stay tuned. Probably gonna be throwing the net a lot. These things are a major pain in the butt to catch, but they work, so let's do it. I got him, baby. We whacked him. We whacked him. Look at that. Yeah, we're going tarpon fishing tomorrow, baby. Let's go. Look at that. Thought I was going to jump the net a bunch of times. Only had to jump her once, baby. Come on. Get that GoPro, Dallas. Show the good people out there what we got going on here. Woo! 
What's that? What's that? What's that? That's a gold plug. Oh, come on. Bro, oh, oh, so oh my gosh. This is like gold, baby. This is like gold. Let me tell you something. This takes a lot of stress off my shoulders knowing that I got a trip tomorrow and I got some bait, all right? We're gonna maybe make one more throw, but I doubt it. <laughs> all right, guys, that's it for the day. I hope you guys are happy with a little bit I showed you on the boat running, a little bit of drone footage, a little bit of a uh, GoPro action, Dallas driving offshore. I know it's probably not enough to show you how this boat truly rides, but take it from me. The hull itself is over 20 years old. It's a proven hull, this boat rides great. We accomplished what we wanted to do today. We got ourselves some bait, no pilchards, but we got some mullets, so I'm set for tomorrow. Gonna have to catch some live ones in the morning, but I got something to get me going. Super stoked on that. Listen, I'm gonna try to get more videos out there for you guys of this boat running, more drone footage. I only got a 20 minute fly time on my drone. It's old school, five years old. I'll get you what I can. I'll keep putting more videos out there in the new boat. If you got any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. Other than that, you guys wanna see more videos of this boat running, make sure you click that subscribe button and they'll be coming your way, all right guys? Until next time, take it easy. Yeah,